So tips for specifying smart devices. I'm gonna give you three tips today when it comes to specifying some smart devices, okay? So hold on to your seats. If you take this step as equipment fails or you look for those upgrade opportunities, you're gonna find ways to get everybody aligned to get the good smart devices in place in your plan. First thing you need to think about, network support. Oh boy, here we go. It's so important to get that down. You really need to, spec to get specific here and understand what your primary networks are from a control standpoint and information. So Ethernet IP, you hear us talking about that a lot. That's growing big time in the US, but there are other protocols you need to consider. You know, if your site is heavily invested with Profinet, that's gonna probably influence your decision on the smart devices that you're looking for. You just need to know that. But converters are available as well. You know, you can get that from a data acquisition standpoint or even monitoring that converters may help. But the bottom line for your network standpoint is, you just need that plan to understand how the devices work and making sure they get specified in a way that you can actually utilize them once you get them in your facility. Number two, you need to think about your control level. Now, what am I talking about when I say control level? Well, you just need to understand the primary control architecture. So if your PLC architecture is focused around this guy, the Rockwell PLC, well, that's important to know, right? And if you find some smart devices, with logic support, that may make the integration easier. I'm gonna tell you a, a quick disclaimer here. You are not limited to any one vendor. I feel like it's important enough to say twice. You are not limited to any one vendor. I know I feel better, oh man. So get that in your mind. There are hundreds of vendors out there making smart devices that can integrate with these types of solutions, okay? And there's even add-on instruction right now that you get from so many of these vendors so you can buy that smart device, get the add-on instruction, and next thing you know, you're on the network, moving data that you never had in the past. Even most recently, I took a Yaskawa VFD with a Rockwell PLC. I haven't touched a PLC in 15 years, so it was a little intimidating, but we got it going in minutes, and we were running a Yaskawa PLC through the Rockwell controller and actually making drives uh, start and stop. It was really cool, okay? So get that control level understanding and keep that in the back of your mind. And the third tip, you need to think about the features that are important to you. You know, bells and whistles are great, but what if you only need bells, okay? You need to keep that in mind. Focus in on what's important to you. Use that filtering you did when you're looking at your network and trying to understand what's important from a control level standpoint and really zone in on the features that, that matter. You know, if you, can, if you start doing too many demos, the features and benefits, they, they all start getting scrambled up here and they all run together. And you can really just have that, an overload. Like, I really don't know what's important because it's just too much coming at you. So it's okay. Take a step back, take a deep breath, explore the options, but stay focused on what's going to give you the biggest impact and really get the results that you're looking for. So to recap, clarify that network, consider that control architecture, figure out what features are most important. And then I'm telling you right now, these smart devices, they're changing the world. And you need to be the one that makes the decision on what's most important that's going to help you achieve your goals the fastest.